What's going on, guys? This is Michael Jones, better known as Iceberg from the Quant View Discord community. And I want to take a moment to highlight one of my uh, earlier investments into Quant View. And I want to show exactly how I use uh, this toolkit. Um, if you decide to uh, consider using it as well, how it can aid into your trading and just all of the um, the features and the things that it uh, provides most that can help aid you. So um, there's a lot going on here if you're just not familiar with graphs and uh, different colors and things of that nature. So I want to kind of break it down just a bit. And I'm going to show an example of how it provides confluence for uh, an excellent trade that uh, would have been available to take on uh, this past Friday, uh, October 4th. So again, this is called uh, QuantView's Ultimate Trading View Suite. And I just want to go over a quick uh, few things here. So um, you got about four different windows here. Um, the first larger window is traditional uh, candlesticks on a 15 minute time frame. Uh, one of the great things that I love about this uh, toolkit is that it uses some community uh, indicators as well. Uh, one of them is Leviathan's market order bulbs. And as you can see, this is a tremendous push to the upside as evident with this volume indicator here. And when you start getting large or even, not even large, but just nice orders, you get these bubbles that are at the top for uh, a buy if it's green, and then I want to say the red of itself, but it didn't show any here, so I wouldn't be able to show an example. Um, but, you know, going clearly up, going clearly up, and as you can see, the different bubbles that highlight there. Um, this smaller window here is what you all know. It's our Q Pro Toolkit. Now, if you decide to move forward with the Ultimate Trading View Sweep, you do have to still have your recurring membership for this to show. Otherwise, it will just be a blank uh, screen there for you. Uh, the third uh, window uh, that is showing and highlighted here is the market and volume profile. As you can see, it shows value area high, value area low, point of control. And you see these are highlighted here. And um, it's something that you can take advantage of and kind of plot levels uh, for expectations you know, highlighting where a value area low or a value area high is. For example, for October, uh, let's see, we're going to October 4, let's get it around 9. So, of course, in this area, that would have been the 19,990 area, point of control showing at 2027, and value area high was uh, 2152. So, uh, using this on a day-to-day -day basis is a great way to set your levels so you can have expectation of what price is doing. And if you're doing that on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, nothing really catches you by surprise uh, just based on whatever is going on in that particular trading day. And then last but not least, uh, this is our daily uh, bars uh, toolkit. Also showing value area high and value area low. Um, it's not showing the letters per se, but when you go into the uh, settings, for example, uh, you see here that purple is showing value area high at top and value area low, and then red is your point of control. Of course, if you want, you can change that color so you don't you know, get confused per se when you're analyzing the chart, uh, but this is on the daily uh, time frame as well. So. Um, now, one of the ways uh, that I use this chart, now, of course, again, all you see everything on just one screen, but what I have is several different screens that I use for trade execution. Uh, one of them is going to be what I place my trades on, which is NinjaTrader. Uh, the second screen is what you would see here with all of these screens. And then the third screen would be like a, a tablet, iPad, Android tablet, whatever you prefer. So. Um, whenever I am using this chart, I like to blow this up in full and have the screen bigger just so I can see what's going on in the particular time zone or time that I'm 
trade, right? And usually, uh, well, my previous history, I usually trade between uh, 9.45 to 11. So that would put me in about this range here, right? So as you can see, for example, about 9.45, uh, this 15 minute candle is a big slide down, right? So this lets me know that we're pretty bearish. So what I would see on my tablet when I'm using it is, um, you know, you go to your 945 time frame on the one second, which QuantView recommends for anyone who's executing with QPro. And overall, you can see that it's just a big, you know, a big slide down, right? And so um, we're going to start from 945 and I'm going to scroll down to about 15 minutes. And, you know, I, I technically don't need to do now, but you can see it. But as I do that, you can see that it's just one big uh, push to the downside, right? And, you know, we stop at 10 and, you know, we go from essentially, actually I want to mark it just so to give clarity about how long that slide was. So at 945, we're at 2227. And at about 10, we are at 2070. So it's nearly a 200 point slide downward, right? From just that 15 minute candle alone. So, you know, we use the Q Pro to make sure that we execute on the one second and wrinkle bars uh, data, right? And as you can see, any points of your entry would have given you great results, whether you took it once you got below Q line here and you slid down here, maybe get out if you want to secure profit once you got from 218 to 193, you know, whatever the map that is if you're on one mini contract. And all of this, we're staying under Q line this entire time. So once Q cloud becomes full, you can take this trade again. Uh, maybe consider getting out when it starts to push up here. And then we push up just above Q line just a bit. But then as you can see what happens, we, you know, we have the, you know, the ride of our life downward. We, did, we get a Q wave bear, which confirms that it's going to be an insane trade along with Moneyball Diamond forming here. And we just begin to slide and slide and slide and slide further down, right? So I didn't want this video to take too long. I, I did really just wanted to highlight one of QuantQ's um, toolkits that, you know, they've had on their um, QuantView.io website, as well as if you're on the Discord for quite some time. Um, this is a one-time purchase, so if you want to decide to buy it, it's yours for the life of the purchase. Uh, you get a tr uh, training a digital booklet that comes with it that gives you descriptions of everything that you buy. Again, you also have, uh, if you go to QuantU's YouTube page, it discusses about an 18-minute video of giving more in-depth details of everything that I briefly touched on um, in the first few minutes of this video. Uh, but essentially, um, having this toolkit allows you to save you know, tremendous amounts of time on your charting. Um, as I showed you on the middle, smaller screen, um, each day gives you your value area high, your value area low, point of control, and you can mark all of these levels each and every day before you start, right? And it just gives you an edge on your trading and allows you to have additional confluence in your decision making, right? Like, so if you are approaching the value area low and it's showing that we're gonna push even further, it just gives you the confidence to take that trade to the downside, uh, same thing to the upside. Or if we're pro approaching the point of control and we start to push out of that point of control based on whichever direction that we're going, right? So it just gives you an additional uh, 
edge and data and information that's very important in trading, uh, something I think we all need to have. Again, this is available on their QuantView.io website. Uh, it is $49. It's a one-time purchase only. You know, when I was serious about uh, my trading aspirations and going through QuantView and got the membership and um, still wanted to just have as much information as I could with everything, and I saw this, and this is something that they use every day to push out to uh, social media. Uh, as well as um, their Discord. Well, this is what they're using. They're, they're using uh, all of these details to give you the data on what could happen based on each trading day scenario, right? So uh, again, you're going to get um, market and volume profile information, uh, price action indicator information, a customized VWAP, and again, this is a one-time purchase and um, the details of all of the indicators and the charts uh, have a lifetime uh, updating. So you don't have to worry about things ever being out of date. Uh, the only thing that you just have to keep in mind if you do decide to move forward with this is that this particular window here, which we're all are very familiar with, which is our Q Pro, um, details, our money ball, um, our SMC indicator. Uh, you have to have your membership at minimum, um, the pro membership. And of course, with TradingView, the one second data uh, TradingView, which is a premium membership uh, in order for this to function as intended, right? Otherwise, um, you won't have all of the, the data or information that you need. Um, but again, uh, just the general chart itself, that's uh, a one-time purchase. Um, considering with all of the different details that you get, all the time that you save, uh, I, I think it's uh, an in incredible uh, investment personally. And um, you can use it so many different ways uh, to optimize your, your trading. Um, to be as consistent and have as much of an edge as possible. Uh, so I hope everyone found this uh, specific video helpful. Again, this is how I uh, use the Ultimate Trading View Suite. Uh, my name is Michael Jones, better known as uh, Iceberg in the QuantView Discord community. I look forward to talking with you guys again uh, with more educational tools. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.